Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Ashley. I'm a homeschooling mom with seven kiddos ranging from almost eighth grade all the way down to a year. Um, so I'm kind of on this channel because I have such varying age ranges um, and grade levels. I'm kind of sometimes all over the place with my videos. As far as one day I will do an eighth grade, one day I will do a pre-K, one day I will do a fifth grade. Um, it all just depends on what I have and um, what I want to share. So I wanted to, to do today the new kindergarten prep um, course book. So my current kindergartner, um, just finished doing the preschool one. We started with the level K and language arts from the good and the beautiful, and it was way too advanced for him. Um, he was, he was slower to, to grasp the letters and the letter sounds and all that. So that is what we have been focusing on, um, for this year that we just finished. Um, and so I wanted to show you, this will be kind of a, um, a, going to kind of see how it goes with this particular course book. So even though he will go to the level K at some point, I want to do this first with him and make sure that he has mastered it. I do not want to throw the level K on him and it just be too much. So I wanted to do this and first, and if we fly through it, great. If it takes more time, great. But I want to do this kind of as in, in the middle interim um, course book from the preschool course book and the level K. So this is new. They had um, a different one before. I forget what it was called. That was, this kind of took the place of it. Um, so this is the kindergarten prep. I wanna show you kind of what it has um, in it. Let's see. So kind of a course overview, mastering recognition of upper and lower case letters. So he has done that pretty well. I just want to make sure that he is comfortable with it. Mastering the letter sounds, reading two letter and three letter um, words, identifying beginning, ending, and middle sounds, recognizing vowels, colors, he knows those, introduction to word families, numbers one to 15, he knows those, motor skills, rhyming, he's good with rhyming. So some of this will be great, we'll fly through it, and then others we will take more time on and some we will just go over to so that we can do it as a refresher. So that's fine, that is what I intended to do with this particular course. So um, let me show you kind of how it is laid out. For example, lesson one, a lot of these lessons at the beginning are obviously going to be just a little bit of a refresher. Um, if your kiddo knows it, they can just do it for extra practice. And that's what I plan to do and just kind of go to the next. Um, so it's, it's very much laid out like the preschool um, course. So um, having the child say the name of each item and then what letter it starts with. Here you have your vowels if they haven't been introduced to the vowels already. Um, pencil grip is always important. Practicing, you know, tracing. Um, here you have your vowels that you can laminate, cut out and laminate if you want to. Um, connecting each kite with the uppercase and the lowercase. Coloring all the items that rhyme with far. Um, let's see, there are 28 lessons, I believe, 28 lessons, 30 lessons. Um, letter matching, choosing a pet cat, um, learning the pet's names and then pointing to the first letter in its name and saying the sound the letter makes. They, so they do a good job of incorporating little things like that. Um, let's see. Visiting a castle in the kitchen, there are uppercase and lowercase vowels. Can you find the low, lowercase a, circle it, and then say its name? So very interactive lessons. Um, and some, you know, it's not going to focus on a letter a week. It will go over the letter. It will have you trace the letter. Um, it will have you maybe, you know, figure out the beginning sounds of the, letter, of the word and that's it so it's not going to go into you know this is letter c and this is the sound it makes and etc cetera, etc cetera. um learning how to blend letters together to read certain words we're going to trace the d and practice that donut you know my kids have trouble with the d's and the b's sometimes um counting how many keys uh, matching from the uppercase to the lowercase a lot of that 
I'm just kind of flipping through here. Um, and then we have obviously our little game pieces. So this is a letter match game, which obviously they will tell you when to play that or if you just want to play it for the heck of it. Um, and then these, I guess, will show you, this is the vowel vine um, game. So that will be included within the course and it will show you, it will tell you um, windmill whirl. It will tell you when to use that and when to put it together. So I just wanted to show you that the course assessment is just, um, well, this is part one, yes. Yeah, so in part two. So here's the course assessment, what they kind of expect you to do is to be able to match these letters with uppercase, with the lowercase, um, practicing the vowels, being able to recite the alphabet without help, write the numbers one to 15 in random order, um, and so forth. So it, it, it is a refresher course, but also solidifies being able to go to that level K and um, know that they are ready for that. So I didn't want to skip this um, because I wanted to make sure that we were good with it. Um, so let me know if you have any questions about the kindergarten prep. I will let you know how we are going um, when we start using it and um, if I think that it is worth it to kind of stick this in the middle. I think so because there is a gap between the preschool and the level K um, language arts. There is a definite gap between the two. And so um, having this just, like I said, just bridges those two together. So let me know if you have any questions, if you have used it, if you like it, let me know down below and I will see you guys next time. Take care.